How many times we ever contemplate the worth of a human life? Did you know that there is an official price tag to human life? As of 2020, one human life was worth about 10 million dollars. But is there really a value you can attach to life? Is there really a value you can attach to your life? Do you know your worth as a person? Self-worth comprises of a wide range of ideas and concepts, but at its foundation, it refers to how much value an individual places on oneself. Self-worth, self-esteem, self-respect, self-confidence are all terms that describe how you perceive yourself as a person, but they all involve your personal opinion of yourself. Self-worth is a deep knowing that you are of value, that you are lovable, necessary to this life and of incomprehensible and priceless worth. Self-worth is also how you value yourself. It is not based on what others think of you or the things you have or haven't accomplished. It comes from within. But it is easy to forget that our worth is not determined by outside forces. Most of us develop a sense of self-worth based on our ability to meet personal standards and people's expectations. As a result, our self-worth is generated by worldly values and standards. Because of so much going on in our lives, our sense of self-worth goes up and down like a wave, rising and falling depending on our latest success or failure. With our competitive culture, we usually focus on measuring ourselves against others. We see others richer, smarter, more beautiful, more creative, more successful than we are. How many times making these as the determinants of our worth do we feel lesser, unable, and sometimes worthless? How many times do we let what other people think about us, what they have labeled and defined us to be as the truth of who we are and live like we believe them? Self-worth means believing that you are fundamentally worthy as a person. This does not depend on physical appearance, how much we have in our bank accounts, how many friends we have, our careers, or how much we have achieved. And if you believe otherwise, I have news for you. Our self-worth is determined by God's values. We are worthy not because of what we have, what we have done, but because God says so and made it so. Failure, rejection, success, beauty, friendship, none of those determine our worth. So many times we go around feeling wrong on the inside. We don't really like who we are. We think, if I was just a little taller, if I had a better personality, if I was of a lighter complexion, if I just looked like her, then I would feel good about myself. When God created you, he went to great lengths to make you exactly like he wanted you didn't accidentally get your personality. You didn't just happen to get your height, your looks, your skin color, your gifts. God designed you on purpose to be the way you are. You have what you need to fulfill your destiny. If you needed to be taller, God would have made you taller. If you needed to be a different nationality, God would have made you that way. If you needed to look like her instead of you, you would have looked like her. You have got to be confident in who God made you to be because for a particular purpose, you were created that way. Only thing that God cannot do is a mystery. Ephesians 2 verse 10 says, We are God's masterpiece. That means you're not ordinary. You didn't come off in a mass production. You're one of a kind. Nobody in this world has your fingerprints. There will never be another you. Never. If you're going to reach your highest potential, you have to see yourself as unique, as an original, as God's very own masterpiece. A masterpiece is far above the norm and exceeds all expectations. There's nothing common or ordinary about it. Masterpieces set their own standards of excellence. God, the master created you to be his masterpiece. You are perfectly designed for purpose. You do have a purpose. You have a destiny because you created and designed it to be the last detail. 
Nothing about you is left to chance. Not one detail. You're not an accident. Your birth was no mistake and your life is no fluke of nature. Your parents may not have planned you, but God did. He was not at all surprised by your birth. In fact, he expected it. Your God's treasured position. Yes, you. When God says, I love you, he's saying that you matter to him. You're a person of worth. You're valuable to him. Regardless of what others think in his eyes, you're wonderfully and faithfully made. And made for a unique purpose that only you, you alone in this whole wide world, can fulfill. Have you lost that sense of self-worth because of what you have gone through? Because of what you've done, because of what you have believed for so long. Had you allowed other people and other things to attempt to determine that worth and value for you? Shift the focus. God knows you and cares deeply, deeply about you. He regards you as his most prized treasure. Before we ever took one baby step toward him, he took a giant leap towards us. Before we ever gave him a life, he provided salvation to us through his death. We were his enemies, but he was our friend. We turned our backs on him, but he turned his face toward us. We cared little for him, but he cares immensely, immensely for us. Turn that mess to Christ and let him turn it into a masterpiece. Believe and see how he turns it into the original masterpiece you created to be.